What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossBirdTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now today we have a cool video because I'm starting a new programming series. And if you guys don't know, Scratch is a programming platform developed by MIT. It was developed to help people learn programming, especially children, or to, uh, to entertain people that already know programming because it's really fun to do. And today we're going to open up Scratch and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is navigate to scratch.mit.edu. Again, MIT is the one that developed uh, this platform and it's really fun to do. If you guys haven't seen it or if you guys want to mess around with it, I highly recommend it. It's free. You don't need to buy anything. And it's completely, there's no programs by the way to download. It's completely web based and it's cool. So navigate to this URL. The URL will be in the description. And as you can see, this is Scratch here. All right, so before I go through with this uh, little tutorial, uh, I want to explain to you what this guy is. This guy is a sprite. As you can see right here, these are the sprites. A sprite is an object like in a program you create, like a character or whatever. It's, this is the thing that we're going to use to uh, test out our programming skills or to create a program. So this sprite, his name is Scratchy. Scratchy can do a lot of things. You're going to be able to program Scratchy to do endless amount of things. and this is the guy that's going to be moving around, that's going to be drawing, that's going to do anything you, you want it to do. So today we're going to work on motions. As you can see on the right here on their scripts, we have motions. These are one of many things we can do. Motions is self-explanatory. We want to move Scratchy around and we can do it. These are little snippets. Under motions, we can, okay, if I click on this one and I drag it to the right side here, this is where we're going to drag and paste all our programming snippets and we can connect them together. This is what makes the programming fun. So this snippet here, uh, this command uh, makes the sprite move 10 steps or we can edit it. We can make it move any steps we want. I'm going to change it to five steps. So if if I move the sprite all the way to the end here and I click on this command, it should move the sprite up five steps. So it happens really fast. So you, uh, if I click it, it's going to happen again. If I keep clicking it, it's going to keep happening, right? But I don't want to keep on clicking it. I want to be able to have it do it on its own. So before we get on to the next motion, I want to click on one of the operators here. So I'm going to click on, no, I'm sorry, not the operators. We're going to go to control here and we want a forever loop or let's 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 click on one of these loops there, there are loops for everything by the way if there are if there are else statements there are forever loops there there are stops there are ones there are a lot of things if you're into programming you know what if else loops are you know what a forever loop is but these are like the snippets for those forever loops so basically this is a, a repeat it's going to repeat this whatever commands in between the repeat as many times as you want. So right here is 10 times, right? We can edit that to whatever. So basically I'm going to move the sprite over here. And if I, if I put this in here, right? Like, so we can connect things. That's what makes the program. So it's going to repeat whatever is in here 10 times. So what is in here? Move five steps. So it's going to move five steps. It's going to repeat it again. Move five steps It's going to keep repeating until it does it 10 times. So if I double click this, as you can see, it kept doing it until it was finished. So basically th this is a loop. Let's go back to motion over here and we want to move to a specific coordinates, a specific X, Y coordinates on the bottom right here. You can see whenever I hover my mouse over a part over here, it gives me its X and Y coordinates. If I want the sprite to move over here, it's X 142 and Y uh, 128. So how do I get the sprite to move over there? But before we do that, I'm going to go to backgrounds here. If you want to change the background, if you don't want it to be just white, plain old boring background, you can change it. To do that, click on the bottom right here where it says choose background from library. Click on it. It gives you a little sample down here of the X, Y uh, coordinates, like a little like cheat sheet. And it's the like third to last one here. And if you click on it, it'll bring this up here. It'll change the background to this and it splits the, the, the coordinates into X, Y. So you know this is y zero x zero y zero all right if i move it up here this is x 117 y uh 131 right so this will help us out whenever we want to move something this grid thing here will help us out and i'm going to move this sprite back over here i'm going to click on scripts over here and i want to go to another move 
another move command and we want the sprite to be able to move to a specific coordinate so it's this one right here that's the go to x and y coordinate right so we're going to drag this we're going to move this over here now i want the sprite to move all the way up to right here and this coordinate is x102 and y50 so x102 i'll type it here x102 and y50 all right so if i move my sprite back and i click on this command right here it should move that sprite to that coordinate which it did right so you can edit this to do whatever coordinate you want you can move your sprite up here and say i want it to go to this coordinate which is negative 122 and and uh positive 128 so so negative 122x right oops negative 122 and positive 128 right so i'm gonna move this sprite to another spot and if i click on it it's gonna move to that coordinate that i chose right there but i want to show you something cool so let's move our sprite here so we got this snippet or this command from down here this is the same one down here we could grab another one but as you can see th this is the command we grabbed whenever we we click on something or whenever we move the sprite it's going to automatically update this command so we don't need to type it in let's say i want to move the sprite right over here when i drag it and drop it it's automatically going to update the sprite with that location so all i have to do is drag this and and move this here and if i if i if i click on it it should move it directly to that location that that x y coordinate so that's pretty cool so we're going to make a little bit of a program here so we're going to uh we're going to have our sprite move a few different locations right so i want it to move basically in a square shape so we're going to start the sprite off right over here right and that coordinate is um so we're going to drag the coordinates and just drag it over here we're not going to use these anymore just leave that aside then i want it to move up to this coordinate right here then we're going to drag that one here because that's the next one i'm going to put it under this one then I want to move over here right then we're gonna drag this one again and move it over here and then I want to move over here then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna keep dragging it then I want to go down to here I'm gonna grab it drag it move it over here again grab it drag it and I believe I was here so move it right here grab it drag it and finally i'm going to move it right up here and grab it and drag it so basically what i did here this program is going to execute one after the other it starts with the first one it's going to do the second one do the third one then the fourth and fifth so these are codes for um for moving to different coordinates so, so if i put the sprite in the middle here and i click on this it should just move around but it's going to do it really fast so if i click on it it, it all happened in like a second <laughs> and you weren't able to really see the sprite move around to be able to see the sprite more smoothly uh do that motion there are other things we could go to controls here and they have something called weight so i'm going to drag this here and before each or after each command here we want uh, the sprite to wait a certain amount of time before it executes the next uh jump so one second is too long we're gonna we're gonna make it uh 0.5 right I'm gonna grab another one of these, change it to 0.5. If I keep clicking on it, it's gonna keep doing its thing, right? But why should I have to keep clicking on it? Let's grab a control here and let's grab the forever loop which is right over here right so let's just put all these commands in between here so it's going to keep doing this forever until i stop the program now how do i initiate this we don't want to be able to just click this and it go forever if i click this it's going to just keep going right until i hit stop here it's just going to keep on going right but we want to add an event right we want to be able to add when we click the green flag so if we go to events drag when green flag this clicked drag it to the top right so when, whenever we hit the green flag it's going to start the program so we don't have to keep clicking on this side here so all we have to do is click this green flag and the program is starting and we have in the program this forever loop here 
It's going to keep on moving until we hit the stop button here. And on, inside this forever loop, we have a bunch of move commands. Uh, this one moves to this coordinate, then it waits uh, this amount of seconds, then it moves to this coordinate, then it moves this amount of seconds, and so on, until it completes the programming. Then once it gets to the bottom, it just repeats the loop and it keeps going, right? So once it hits stop, it's going to stop right there. All right, so we want to be able to draw the sprite steps. To do that, we go to pen here. And um, under pen, we want pen down, not pen up. We want to drag this in here, right? So, and uh, we can pick the color. I'm going to drag it over here. And it's going to draw in blue here. So if I click on the green flag, as you can see, as it's moving around, it's drawing its coordinates. So it's going to keep moving around. It's going to keep drawing its coordinates. And that's the neat thing you guys can do. You can mess around with that. You have shades. You could have the pen be more, more, more thick, right? Uh, you could have the pen ha have a different color, different shape, stuff like that. So, so this is a little neat thing you could add in the program. All right, guys. So this is pretty much it for this video. This is going to be part one of the video. I'm going to continue doing this tutorial series. We're going to move on to the other functions. And yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmusTech.com, and thank you guys for watching. Oh, 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 oh,